Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to explain how you can install what we call uh, the example uh, app from uh, the Matmov uh, iOS SDK project developed and maintained by uh, Cornelius Horstman. So the idea is that at the end of the tutorial you are able to install on Mac the example app in order to see how data can be sent from an iOS app or let's say Mac app to uh, Matomo. Once more, I really would like to thank uh, Cornelius Horstman who spent uh, some time with me explaining how to install it uh, properly. Uh, so as uh, the Gmail company through Michael Carfan, uh, the owner who actually uh, gave me a Mac in order to make uh, this uh, tutorial. I have to say that I got a hard time <laughs> in making it working. Um, so here, let's say the debug thing that you need to understand is that, of course, you need to have Xcode up to date. You need as well to have Cocoa Pods installed. You need, of course, to develop, uh, to download the GitHub project. Then you need to perform a pod install within the project. Then you need to open the workspace project. Then you need to change the ID of Matmo, uh, not mess it up. And you need to have uh, Apple developer ID to set at the project level. So let's get uh, started. So first step first is to download it. So um, there are many ways that you can do it. In my case, I'm using, I'm using the UI one. So I'm just uh, downloading it here. Uh, the next step, of course, is to uh, um, have an access to it. So in my case, I'm using the, the terminal. So here, um, the idea is to be able to access to my downloads. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, then I'm going to just enter within it. So here I'm using the terminal. Uh, if you are not familiar with it, it's command space and then you enter terminal. And then you use the traditional Unix command in order to access to your uh, folder. So um, once you have done so, you can access uh, the number that you want. And then, then that's super important. Even though there is a pod file within it, you need to run pod install anyway, okay? Expected behavior is to get uh, those green lines saying that everything's correct. Then once you do so, what's going to happen is that you will get the file and the workspace that you can um, open. So you go over here and you open this one, okay, the workspace. You trust and open it. Um, next step is, so here you get uh, the different Mm, project um, so hold on pod uh, product no no not this one uh, extensions no mm, laser example okay that's the one that's the one we want apps ios okay um, next step <coughs> is about changing this one and putting ios so here we are. Um, at this step, uh, what you need to do is that you need to change, so that will be within iOS example, you need to change uh, the place where the data will be sent to. So this is the URL of your instance. So you change it out over here. So in my case, that's the cloud of Matmo. And the tracker is not the PWIC, it's the Matmo. Okay, so this is the URL when you send the data to. And in my case, that's the ID site number 86. And this step, you can save it, okay? Uh, then you can launch the emulator and normally you will get an error. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I just um, launch it, I get a build file, so I'm looking at it. And here they say that um, I need to sign, okay, first to sign as a developer for this given project. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go over here and over here you get the signing and capabilities. And this is where they ask you to assign it to a team. So you can assign it to a team. If you do so, they're gonna say that they are not happy because the bundle identifier is not correct. So here you put a fake one, okay. Then you click on try again then it should be happy and then you can click over here to launch the emulator 
and now that should be fine. So let's see how it looks like. Okay, great, build succeeded. Um, so the app will appear. Um, let's look at the time, it's currently 9.10, okay. And I haven't yet any interaction within my Metamo. Okay, you can see over here, nothing. Oh, okay, it just, it just happened because I guess I just opened it up. So, um, timing one, I don't know what timing one is about uh, screens. So it means that an event has been sent timing two. So I don't know what this one is doing. Um, I don't know, that's kind of a default event, I guess, which have been included within it. Oops. Um, so let's fire, um, I don't know, search for example. Hey, you. Okay, so a hey, u should be sent. Uh, let's see for, um, I don't know if goals are working because maybe um, the goal has a unique, and ah, I guess that's not working by default unless I create something within my metamo. That's the reason why it's not firing yet. I guess I need to have a new goal. Uh, let's call it test and I set it manually. Okay, uh, the goal, okay, perfect. Let's go back within our, within our app. So I donate like $5, okay. Um, campaign, blue, try the campaign um, configuration. I know what it is. Ah, this page Qavian, that's great. Uh, create a new session. Okay, anyway, I'm interacting with the app right now. And normally what we can expect to see over here is, okay, great, it's working perfectly. So I get my goal uh, that I sent, timing one, tac, 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 campaign tracking. This one, ah, funny, funny. This one seems to not uh, work as expected. Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, the data. So I had the search which was sent. Okay, it has been sent over here. Okay, okay, great. Um, so this is what I wanted to show you about uh, the app tracking uh, for Mac for the sample app. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching.